John Campia broke a little scoop yesterday about the fact that Ryan Johnson's Star Wars trilogy is likely canceled. This is obviously a big freaking deal. We want to talk about everything that's actually out there as far as information, what John is saying, and what we think is going on. It's like the news, but for nerds. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Today's shout out goes to Jackson Paris. Indeed, Aunt May was snapped away. We'll do another nerd card question at the end of this video. What's up, everybody? Happy Friday to you. I'm, of course, Josh, and this is the Den of Nerds, and I cannot believe that it is already Friday. It's been a heavy news week, man. A lot of crazy stuff has happened. There's Star Wars news, there's Marvel news, a lot of stuff about the future. It's been wild. Now today, of course, we're talking about John Campia's report yesterday that the Ryan Johnson trilogy is canceled. This is the Star Wars trilogy that was greenlit before The Last Jedi even came out. This is a big deal for Star Wars fans. A lot of people have been focusing on this. Now I do want to say that I know for some of you, you will consider this a win. For others, you will consider this a loss, and I know there's a fan war going on right now. I've always tried to be fair to both sides of the Star Wars conflict, and in this situation, I just wanna say to everybody, like, just chill out, just, let me explain what is going on here. I don't necessarily think it's like as crazy of a win for you people that think it's a win, and I definitely don't think it's that crazy of a loss for people on the other side. So let's just get into this. Okay, so yesterday, John Campia broke news that he had a source reach out to him and explain that the new Star Wars movies that were dated for 2022, 2024, and 2026 will indeed all be the Dan and Dave Old Republic movies. Now this first source essentially reached out to, to John and said this and then said, I believe the Ryan Johnson trilogy is dead. Now what John did next was reach out to another source that he has and this second source confirmed that indeed all of these new movies will be the Dan and Dave trilogy, but they could not say one way or another what was going on with Ryan's trilogy. Now John has also reached out to people he knows actually at Disney and he hasn't heard back or at least hasn't reported on hearing back from them at all. But here's the thing guys, these sources are good and John would not just run with this stuff if he didn't believe that this was actually true. So I tend to believe that this is true. So it's important to note that while none of this is official and Disney hasn't come out and confirmed or denied any of this, it's probably freaking true. I mean, John Campia is running with the fact that Ryan Johnson's trilogy is not out there. There's only three movies in the next eight years. They've talked a lot about the Dan and Dave movies We've heard nothing about the Ryan Johnson trilogy. I think it just makes sense, guys. The next three movies are gonna be Old Republic. Now, what's actually going on here? Like, why choose Dan and Dave over Ryan? Is it just a timing thing? Do they literally not want anything to do with Ryan? Like, what's actually going on? Well, I think the best answer for this is that this is just a pivot for the entire brand of Star Wars. I mean, think about this. They're taking three years off, three years off, with no Star Wars movie. And then they're doing three movies in the next six years following that. The number one thing that they are doing with the brand of Star Wars is slowing down and trying to create amazing tentpole content. You know, in their minds, in Disney's minds, they sort of tried to marvel it with Star Wars. You know, that's what the spin-off movies were. Now, Solo A Star Wars Story was an incredibly bad failure. This was really, really bad. It shook the brand. So it really depends on how you look at it. You could say that Disney canceled this trilogy, or you could say that Disney had to alter the way they were releasing Star Wars content. It only left room for one trilogy, and they just decided on Dan and Dave. Now, about six months ago, there were all these reports and rumors about Ryan Johnson's trilogy being ended. And I remember reporting on that stuff back then, and I will say to you now the same thing I said then. I don't know for sure if this is true or not, but from a business perspective, it makes sense. I just do not see how Disney could rationally believe that giving the man that directed the most controversial Star Wars film of all time an entire trilogy is a good move. There's just simply no way that it's a good move. There's way too many people that dislike him and that dislike The Last Jedi. And for the record, I actually like The Last Jedi. I like The Last Jedi a lot more than many people I know out there. However, I know for a fact that the Star Wars brand is not in a good place, and I know for a fact that that has a large portion to do with 
The Last Jedi. And for the record, the more I think about it and the more I meditate about it, it is not Kathy Kennedy that I blame for The Last Jedi and the things that were in there that should not have been in there. It is Ryan Johnson. If you look at a lot of the evidence out there, he fought very hard to get control of certain aspects of the movie and to put things into the movie that people like Mark Hamill and producers and people that had been with Star Wars for a long, long time warned him against he just did it anyways. I wanna mention now that Star Wars Sunday, I have a video coming out that I actually already wrote, I'm gonna record literally right now, and it, it goes in detail about what's going on with Star Wars, the space between, the, the time away from the main timeline, the fact that we're going back to the Old Republic. I think all the news we got this week is actually really positive, and so this Sunday, the Star Wars video is gonna be talking about all the positive aspects about these changes, including the fact that we're not getting the Ryan Johnson trilogy. So I urge you to check that video out in a couple of days. Now let's check the nerd card before we get out of here. I want to know what was the name of the assassin that attempted to kill Amidala on Coruscant at the beginning of Attack of the Clones. What was the name of that changeling? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.